State lawmakers are in session for another two weeks, and today they were scrambling to combat what's being called a growing epidemic here in the southern tier. The New York State Senate's task force on heroin and opioid addiction proposed over two dozen bills to help get drugs off of our streets. Today, 23 of them were passed, but there's still more to be done. WENY's Tanja Reiki has been following this issue and joins us with the very latest. Tanja? Renata and John, these bills covering education, prevention, treatment, and stricter criminal penalties have yet to be approved by the Assembly and signed by Governor Andrew Cuomo. Lawmakers agreed today that there's not just one law that can be a silver bullet to combat the uptick in heroin um, addiction. They said what's needed is a package. The task force learned through public sessions, one held right here in Elmira, that there were issues with insurance coverage for substance abuse disorders. Today, bills passed address that very concern. Some senators worried about heroin addiction was being treated as a criminal issue and not a mental health problem. Some even comparing bills today to Rockefeller drug laws that simply increase criminal penalties. There will be stiff, stiffer penalties for the sale of an opioid that causes the death of another. The addiction uh, to these uh, very addictive drugs, uh, heroin and the opioids, uh, uh, is a consistent problem we've seen across the state. Uh, with a need to, uh, to better uh, offer uh, treatment opportunities to treat uh, uh, the disease that these individuals have. And the Senate also approved two pieces of anti-meth legislation that State Senator Tom O'Mara has been pushing over the past few years. One would make criminal penalties for meth sales in line with cocaine and heroin, and the other would help law enforcement with over-the-counter cold medication sales. The bill that were passed now move on to the Assembly. Tanja Reiki, WNY News.